Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? So I thought I'd do a video. A lot of you would obviously know, some of you that don't, I am training to be a pro wrestler. I am not even joking when I'm saying this. So I thought I would do a video talking about, like, about it and, all, and that. But first, this, you guys would, would know who Skillet is. I'm about to reveal my wrestling team. I know if you've seen back at, like, on my other channel, my first channel on YouTube, if you know what I mean, back at the Connor Moses channel, go and check that one out. It's a video basically titled Rest My Wrestling Entrance Team Reveal. You guys, if you've seen that video, you'll know exactly which song is I've chosen to be my wrestling team. If you haven't seen it, this is going to be it. My wrestling theme. I'll play it a bit louder so you guys can hear it. It, this, it's the... It's the meaning of the song that got me to decide this one. I love this one. There you go. So that's my wrestling theme. See ya. So now you know what my wrestling theme is. Hang on, I'm just trying to get me Jeff Hardy on band. Be with you in a minute. Hang on a minute. For some of you that don't know, obviously some of you that will do know, for some of you that don't, this is the armband Jeff gave me. And I have not, I worn it, after that, I worn it for two weeks, two weeks straight. And then I took it off about after the two weeks and I haven't touched it since. So, yeah, so thank you for 62 subscribers as well, it means a lot. This is going to be my wrestling team. I'll show a bit of... Me, um, that's me Star Wars clock, and that is me Ariana Grande poster. I have quite a few. I have that one, which is two. That one there, hang on a minute, I'm trying to show it. That one there. And then I've got that lady there. I've seen her spirit. They are real. I'll talk about the fat full story in that in this video. So yeah, yesterday I did pretty well in wrestling training. So that's the one, I did record uh, videos that day. Upload videos that day. There we go. So yeah. So as you guys would know now what me wrestling team is, I have got me wrestling attire sorted. You did see a sneak peek of it in one of my videos. If you haven't already, go and check that video out. So yeah, it's in this bag I'm poking. But um, so yeah, and um, it's actually an amazing thing to Dreams do come true. And I believe in dreams. Take that me meeting Jeff Hardy as an, for example. 
Um, basically, what I said to my sister week before I met Jeff, that my all-time dream is is for if I would me meeting Jeff Hardy, I'm doing this, I'm doing with me hands right now, non-stop. And then when it got to the axle of that, poof. And he helped me with that. So thank you, Jesus. It's like Jesus was making it happen. I don't blame you guys. You guys have your own opinion. If you believe in Jesus or if you're an atheist, it's up to you. I'm just going out and being full on supportive right now. And this is one of the shirts I had. For, oh, I can't remember. It was one from a what from a birthday or something. This is the I had this one from a birthday. This is my Shawn Michael shirt. So back to the wrestling. Uh, I know how to take a bump. I can vault now. For some of you that don't know what a vault is, so you're in a wrestling ring. Someone tells you you need to vault over the top rope. So basically, you have to run towards a corner, grab the one rope and then the other rope, and jump over the top rope. That's what vault means, and land on the apron. That's what a vault is for some of you that don't know. For some of you that do know, you would obviously know what, what a vault is. That's with for some of you that don't. Then I basically got told to do a cap roll. So basically it's... I got told like before I did a cap roll. Just imagine there's someone in, on the floor. On the all fours in front of you. If you get the idea. Doing basically that of your arms. Jumping leap, like you're leaping over them. That, if that makes any sense. So yeah. So it's amazing. I'm loving it. I've done wrestling training for what two years now. So as you guys can tell, I prefer me. This is gonna thinking like this is me a part of me like wrestling look. More if I wanna do wrestle. So basically, when I do wrestle, not seeing what I, I will wrestle eventually. But when I do, I'll be a damn cat. In my match, me grandparents and my family, and yeah, you get the idea. Um. So basically. It's dreams do come true. I could say this a whole bunch of times, but I mean it. Dreams legit do come true. So, my dream since I was a kid was to become a wrestler. How did you're wondering how did it happen? So basically, great and reason Jason heard that I love wrestling, and they invited me and my family to go to one of their shows. Uh, and this was what. Two years ago, and then, uh, um, hang on a minute. Uh, just trying to get my head, my words right, and me into it. And then we, as like the the person that's training me is Jason King. Well, the it's Jake. Well, you get the idea. We'll get to that in a minute. And he actually wrestled that show at the first, the debut show at uh, against. PJ Jones. A lot of some of you guys would know who I mean, but some of you guys that don't know who he is, he says this. I'm not I'm gonna sound cringe. When uh, you get the freaking idea. You get the idea. I just sounded really terrible saying it in the way I said it, but PJ Jones says it better. No offense, Moses. Saying that to myself back. No never mind. So basically, um, my mum told Jason that I was autistic. He says, yeah, yeah, I don't mind. And then they start, and then, and then they started this wrestling, wrestling training thing. And then, um, so basically I've been a part of wrestling training since I start, I'd reached, since they started really, since the very beginning. So Jason King and Grayson Reeves call me and my brother the OGs originally. If you, some of you guys that don't know what the OGs means, it means the originals. So basically, the reason why he calls me that, because some of the ones that with trained with Reach that day of well, the trainees are left, and I've had some new ones join. So he calls me and great me and my brother the OGs. As you can tell, I'm a Star Wars fan. Oh, I can tell that some of you are going to be wondering where I got this from behind me. And I'm, and I'm on about this. It's basically a... How do I put it? 
It's basically like a sticker wall, wall, wallpaper sticker thing. I can't explain it, but you probably get the idea. It's basically a wall, wall stick, wall sticker. If that makes any sense. So basically, that's what that is. It has Han Solo on it, Luke, Darth Vader, Leia, Chewbacca. Uh, C3PO and then as them, them are, hang on a minute uh, I don't think as them down there I don't know if you can see him him there his face there god bless him because the one I was just pointing at to you about which is this guy here I'm, com I'm poking at not him there he's not he's um he died a long time ago. Uh, I think it was it was definitely after he filmed for this for the New Hope. It was after for after that I know that. So hope he's well well. God bless his soul. Um so um back to the wrestling training thing. So the on the first day I just started making friends already, so I'm friends with most of the Academy lot. So um so there's a routine we've got to do. If you must wipe your feet feet on the apron before you get in the ring. If you don't, they get you to do 50 burpees or literally run, run. Do do a lot of well, you get the idea. But if you yawn, oh, they get you to run, run to the wall and back. So, so yeah, you probably get the idea on that one. So, oh yeah, I did get a wrestling wrestling book. It's called the WWE Ultimate Superstar Guide. It's this book here. Yeah. It's amazing, really. It's got um, Sasha Banks, as you lot know, and as in real life, Mercedes. I get confused. I spell the rest of her name because I have speech problems. And have problems pronouncing names. If you get the idea. And it has Randy Orton, Sasha Banks, The Rock. As you like, we'll know him as in real life. Dwayne Johnson. And The Undertaker. Triple H. Charlotte Flair. Ultimate Warrior. And the list goes on. Then it has inside as you open it. On this bit. It has British Bulldog. Steve Austin. Charlotte Flair. As I've mentioned her name. Roman Reigns, Cena and Bailey. As you open it, as it has the um that has the name of the title of the book and who it's written by on this bit as you can see. And then it will show like like um the um content and uh, of all the if you get like that, you get the idea now. And then you flick to her. So basically, it shows you the a wrestler, a bit of info and the height, weight, where they're from. You get the idea. With all, basically most of them, really, it's amazing. Literally, it's in a good book. If you haven't got it already, go and get it. You can find it at. What's the name of the company that produces it? DK. I can't. I don't know what. No, I'm gonna have to look up what, what it stands for. Hang on a minute. It's. Yeah, I can find this at www.dk.com. I think my mum may have got this from a shop. I can't remember which one. I don't know if I'll. I'll there. Oh, can't. You get. Oh, never mind. So. Um, a lot of you lot would know I have got problems, which is a fact. I do legit have problems. I have autism, sexual integration, and ADHD. So this is a good book. I love it. So I recommend you guys getting it. So I'll put that back. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I'm a Supernatural fan. The Miz, if I'm correct, The Miz appeared in a season. It was season 11. Put it this way, it doesn't end well for him. I'm not gonna spoil it. I have seen the episode he's in. 
but I don't want to spoil it for some of you that have seen it. So, um, I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen the episode. So, I've, my favourite has got to be Sam. Sam's my favourite supernatural. So, I did do a couple of gameplay videos just now. I don't know if the first one's uploaded. The one I did just now, where it's got two custom wrestlers in it. Harrison Black taking on AJ Ace Adams and Attic. Elimination Chamber, the Elimination Chamber paper arena from 2017, if you get the idea. I'm not going to spoil it, but it is incredible. Literally. Um, I'll, if, how do I, I'll give you a hint. It ends up, it don't end well for the one. I'm not going to spoil it, but that's the hint. So, yeah, so, and also I have a Facebook fan page, which is based on my res my wrestling account, wrestling. So if you haven't already, go and follow it. It is called Connor Moses, which is my wrestling name. I get asked, I've got asked by a few people why. So... Don't go hating me when I reveal the, the truth, because honestly, it. I, for some of you that don't know, Moses. I got the reason why I chose Moses because I wanted it to be related to Jesus. So Moses was actually. I'm not I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about the character Moses. If you get who I mean, what I mean. So basically, he. How do I put it? He helped his people get away from the baddies so he created a path through the ocean to get to uh, safety so I've chose my wrestling name to be Connor Moses so probably the, one of the reasons why I chose my wrestling name to be Connor Moses so if you haven't already I did about four days ago I did a gameplay with The Rock Looking to regain his WWE World Heavyweight Championship title against the returning WWE Hall of Famer Razor Ramon, aka Scott Hall. Pardon me. So, um, so that was actually pretty cool. It was about 25 minutes and 52 seconds long. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Pretty good video. Just, and, um, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So, so, yeah, back to me wrestling. Like, and then at one point, Jason got me to do bumps. And my bumps are getting a lot better. Originally, I was just going, boom. Like that, and Jason said Jason was helping me out because he knows I've got autism, and well, if you get the idea. So I'm um, basically um, what was it? he got me holding on to the ropes, crouching down like he's sitting on a chair. If you get the idea, and just to let go and throw myself back. Then after he got me doing that, he got me doing that in the middle of the ring. But if you get the idea, and just throwing myself back with me hands like this. Out like that. Flat, if you get the idea. Like, you can't probably see it, but hands out like that, like I'm showing you. If you get the idea. So, yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And I've, I've actually got a few long-sleeved shirts that Jason would wear. As you can probably tell by that one there, I'm a little mix fan. And, um, so yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I have a lot of wrestling posters. I have a Carmella one, which is hidden away, but it's just about where in point. It's not hidden, hidden. It's just there's a few boxes in front of it. 
And then I have um, I have this one here that this little mix post is beyond the little mix poster if you get the idea. I don't know if you can and then I have about hang on freaking I have one in the wardrobe wardrobe that one I'm touching there uh, it's got Luke Harper which is not in WWE no more which I do not blame him and then I also have another Ariana Grande poster as you can probably tell by the way I'm a huge Ariana Grande fan and and I have a my chemical romance poster of based on the black parade thing you get the idea so yeah so it's actually pretty cool training to be a wrestler I actually love it it's been me old time dream for for how long So it's been my dream for what? Since I was a kid. Watching Jeff and my eyes got me thinking. Got me saying that's what I want to be. So I, you get the idea. So watching Matt and Jeff Hardy throwing themselves about. Hitting. Well you get the idea. Body slams from body slams to swat up bombs and that sort of thing. Drop kick suplex got me wanting to do that. Which... Yeah, as those you would know now, I'm actually wrestling training to become a pro wrestler. So, yeah, we're going to put some music on. I'll be back in just a tick. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you can hear me, I did some Battle of Warships gameplay. One about over five days ago. I've done Star Wars gameplays as well. I've got a few guys that love that sort of thing. So here we go. Here we go. It's all right. I'll be with you in a minute. Uh. Here we go. Which one shall I listen to? It's all right, you lot. I'll be with you in a minute. Well, what eventually, anyway. Oh, so yeah so so, whatever you, no matter what your dream is, whether your dream is to become a pro wrestler, or it could be anything, to meet your idol, to, it could be anything really, what you want to become, if you want to become a pop star, actor, you get the idea, it will happen. Me meeting Jeff Hardy is a very good example. That's a dream I've wanted for six, 17 years now. At least I can say it's happened. And this is kind of uh, to show you. that I got this from Jeff himself. I did upload a video talking about the whole whole thing. So on my old YouTube channel. So like that channel flipping up. It's got more subscribers in the channel I've got now, I'll put it that way, it's got about 72, 70, 72 subscribers on that one. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy. I actually love doing this for you guys. I uploading videos daily for you lot. I just, I love, I love it. I've been doing it for what, six years now. I know I said 1.7, but it will be 7 eventually in what, December the 25th, this year. So I've been uploading videos daily about six years now. December the 20, 25th, 2015 I started. So I started the same year as Angel Molly uploading videos. But she started months before I did. To be on the site, to be honest with you. 
So if you haven't already, go and subscribe to her. She does gameplay videos and that a lot. She is such an amazing person. She has a Twitch as well. So if you haven't got Twitch, go and get the Twitch app and create your account, you get the idea. And, and also go and check her out on Twitch. She does a lot of streams as well, playing what she fancies playing. So, um, so yeah, I'm actually literally enjoying myself. And I have had a lot of brilliant memories. So, yeah. And one of them is, as you can probably tell, I've mentioned a lot in this video, is meeting my idol, which is Jeff Hardy. My mum can make our men's like this. She can, she can make them. She's quite clever with these sort of things. Now she uses a material. Now she knows how to make these. So basically she's going to get the material. So as well. Oh yeah. My mum's ordered me an Ariana Grande jumper. From, if you haven't got the app Wish. Download Wish. If you've gone to Play Store. Put in Wish. Download it, and then you create your account. Pardon me. You create an account on your Wish after you downloaded it. And then put Ariana Grande jumpers, shirts, you get the idea. And they have, it's not, um, they sell literally some amazing Ariana Grande stuff. Ariana Grande jumpers, shirts. Bedding. I'm not even kidding. They do legit sell Ariana Grande bedding on Wish. It's like people create it. They basically, yes, very, yeah, basically a person that creates the Ariana Grande bedding on Wish puts a picture of Ariana on a plain bed, bed sheet, if you get, bedding sheet, if you get the odd, if you get what I mean. They'll put a photo of that, what your bed bed covers, well it's completely complicated but you probably get the idea. So basically they'll put like a photo of Ariana on the, the bed covers and then after doing that, you, it's like that as well. They also do Titanic stuff as well also on Wish. They do... They do Ariane, what is it? They do Titanic shirts and uh, not just Titanic shirts, like Titanic. Literally, if you go on Wish and put Titanic, you see exactly what I mean. There is Titanic shirts on Wish, the further down the list, if you go and have a look. So, um. So, yeah. So, yeah. This is going to be a long video. Long video. So yeah. So I love you guys so much. So I I'm just literally loving my wrestling training. I don't know when I'll wrestle, but I will wrestle eventually. Uh I'm still training as well. So, yeah, so it's going to be great. I'm so excited. So, yeah, it's going to be great. I'm friends with most of the wrestlers in Reach, anyway. I'm friends with Josh Knott. Uh, who's the other one? I do know I'm friends with Josh Knott, and we well, get the idea. Hang on, there's an advert popping up on the... Anyway, that was a that was an advert that popped up. One of them skip ads, so uh, well you get the idea. And so um I've been watching a lot of Adam Adam Hatton quite recently. I sent him a message up on Twitter saying I love his content, he can always get me to laugh, that kind of thing. And he basically loved me comment. Upon YouTube, I commented on one of Gary's videos. Gary C, if you don't know who I'm on about. 
Well, a lot of you guys will obviously know who I mean. So, Gary C does have a YouTube channel as well. I commented on one of his videos. Him and him and a Adam can always get me to laugh, and he actually responded saying thank. He replied saying thank you. He's an amazing person. If you haven't already, go and sub to his YouTube channel and check out his content and Adam Hatton's content. He does a lot of uh, Disney. Disney travel vlogs, if you get the idea. Uh, he's been to Adam Hatton and Gary C. I've been to Dis Disney World, Animal Kingdom, Dis Walt Disney World Paris, you get the idea. They've also been on the Disney Cruise. If You can go and check them videos out, but I recommend you watching them. They're flipping funny. I got me down... My, me and my mum showed my dad the Adam, what was it, one of Adam Hatton's vlogs with Gary C in it. And he, he just started laughing. He loved, so I got my dad hooked on, I've got me sister hooked on Adam Hatton. I've got me mum hooked on Adam Hatton and Gary. And the same thing with me dad, so I've got three people hooked on him. On him. Basically, if you don't know what I mean. Basically, I've, my mum's book. Sisters become. I've got my sister to become Adam Hatton fan, and also I've my mum's an Adam Hatton fan, and my dad as well. That's amazing. So yeah, so I'm actually quite happy. So I'm resting training Sunday, Sunday coming. So there yeah, you get the idea. So I'm gonna have to end this video soon. Because there's a, it's given me a limit of time when, how long this video should be. There you get the idea. So I'll probably end this video when it gets to the 39 mark. So yeah. So um, I have got me Chester Bennington Memorial set up. Uh, and it's a Chester Bennington and Chris Cornell Memorial as well. So, I necessarily don't blame Chester for what he did. He had, he had very bad problems with depression. He had literally had depression. So that's, I think what took him over the edge, what took him over the edge is he's friends with Chris Cornell. So, um, I think Chris Cornell's birthday is July the 20th. So he took his own life on Chris Cornell's birthday. That was another ad, in case you were wondering. Uh, it's just... Oh, freaking hell. Two... That's about... Two, two adverts in a row. But anyway... So... So I don't blame Chester for what he did. He was going through, he's going through a lot at the times so. though. So he's not suffering anymore. I don't blame him really for what he did. He's been... My biggest inspiration for many years. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is quite cool. I have Ariana Grande perfume as well. I'll show you guys them in a video eventually. So, yeah. Whatever, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, there's a Titanic being constructed as I speak. A part of me understands why they're doing it. I'll get into that in a minute. It's alright, I'm just getting into the... I'm just looking for the... I'm about to put on some Titanic sound things, like ambient sounds. There we go. I'll be with you in a minute. Ambient music. There is ambient Titanic music as well, as well as ambient sound. Here we go. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
you can probably hear it, but this is one of the Titanic ambient sounds. If you go on YouTube and put Titanic ambient sounds, this one's one of them that will pop up. The one I'm playing now goes on for what? Five hours. But there's, it's not just this one as well, there's shows a few selections. It's basically the sounds of the engines, if you get the idea, and the whistle going off. You, you can probably... You can... It's basically this. Oh, before the video ends, I want to do something. So there's something special I want to do. I'm going to be playing a video of the real, original Titanic whistle. If you imagine and close your eyes and picture Titanic in your head and when the person met does the countdown and then the whistle goes off, if you get when picture in your head when you close your eyes Titanic and then when after when you just the countdown and the Titanic whistle goes off and so picture in your head the Titanic when you close your eyes close your eyes and picture Titanic in your head the original ship not the positive picture in your head, Titanic. Like it's still, like it's just about to leave Southampton. And imagine, like, when the whistle goes off, imagine, after the countdown, Picturing, well, so um, here we go. So basically, when close your eyes and picture Titanic in your head, like it's about to leave Southampton with the whistle going off after the countdown. That is the whistle for some you, for some, for some of you wondering what that was, that's the whistle. You can go and see that video for yourself. If you put Titanic whistling, that video will pop up. It's like two minutes and four seconds long, but it's totally worth two minutes of your time. It really is worth it. So yeah, I think it's just about the end. God, it's the end of the video now. So if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Push notification bell to be notified every time I upload. I love you all so much. God bless you all. Stay safe. Stay safe. Love you all. Peace out.